everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at phishing attacks, which have spread quite a lot these past few years. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about the different types of phishing attacks, what causes them, and how antivirus programs would help protect you from such cyber attacks. Now, before we get into the video, if you'd like to check out any antiviruses I mentioned today, you'll find an in-depth reviews as well as discounts in the description down below. Okay, so first things first, what is a phishing attack? Well, phishing attacks are basically malicious attempts to trick individuals or organizations into revealing sensitive information, such as login credentials, financial data, or personal information. These attacks typically involve deceptive emails, messages, or websites that impersonate trusted entities like banks, government agencies, or reputable companies. The goal here is to trick you into believing you're interacting with a legitimate source and asking you to provide confidential information or click on malicious links or attachments. Phishing attacks can have devastating consequences, including identity theft, financial losses, and compressed security. Now, as I mentioned earlier, phishing attacks come in different shapes and forms and are not restricted to just emails. So to understand them better, let me break down each type separately. First of all, we have spear phishing, which is a highly targeted form of phishing where attackers customize their deceptive messages for a specific individual or organization. They often gather personal information about you from social media or other sources to make sure their emails or messages appear more convincing. This makes spear phishing particularly dangerous as it can be quite difficult to tell them apart from legitimate ones. Next, we have phishing, which is a type of phishing attack that doesn't actually rely on deceptive emails or messages, but instead manipulates DNS settings or uses malware to redirect you to fraudulent websites without your knowledge. Then you're gonna be tricked into entering your sensitive information on these fake sites, believing they are on a legitimate platform. Another form of phishing is gonna be vishing, which is short for voice phishing. This one involves using phone calls or voicemail messages to trick you into giving out personal information or performing certain actions. Scammers may impersonate trusted organizations, such as banks or government agencies, and use social engineering tactics to gain your trust, so be careful at all times. A similar form to phishing is gonna be smishing, which is a variant that targets individuals through text messages or multimedia messages. Messages. These messages typically contain links or phone numbers that when clicked on or called lead to malicious websites or call centers designed to steal personal information or financial data. Next, we have whaling attacks, which specifically target high profile or executive level individuals within organizations. These attacks aim to compromise the email accounts or credentials of top executives as they often have access to sensitive company information. Cyber criminals may use social engineering tactics and personalized emails to trick their targets into revealing critical information or authorizing fraudulent transactions. As for our last phishing form, we have BEC attacks, which are a bit similar to whaling attacks, but their target is a bit different. In short, BEC attacks focus on compromising the email accounts of employees, particularly those responsible for financial transactions. Cyber criminals gain access to these accounts through various means, such as phishing or social engineering, and then use them to initiate fraudulent wire transfers or change payment information, leading to substantial financial losses for organizations. With that being said, the best method to protect yourself from phishing attacks is by using reputable antivirus programs, such as Norton, Total AV, and McAfee. Now, the reason I've chosen these three in particular is because they have two very important features that massively help against phishing scams. The first being their web extensions that block and flag any suspicious websites that you try to enter. And it will warn you whenever it detects any phishing emails or messages in your inbox. As for the second feature, that's gonna be the dark web monitoring tool. Now, most of the time, the reason why you might be receiving spam and phishing emails is because your information is available on the dark web and data broker websites. And what the dark monitoring feature does is basically help in finding any instances where your data has been leaked online and provide some valuable suggestions on how to get them 
off the internet. Most of the time, this would completely stop the flood of spam emails and phishing attempts from being sent to your inbox. So in short, using antivirus programs is pretty much the most efficient efficient and effective method of dealing with phishing attempts. And if you're not sure which one to go for, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses I normally recommend in the description below, along with some discounts, so make sure to check that out. And that's it for today's video. If you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like this video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, as I love getting to interact with you guys. That would be it for today, and I'll see you in the next one. One.